Welcome back to the channel, yours truly DJ Sound Expression and today it's all about the review for the Song System Showcase which was at Point of View Restaurant, Upper Hall, St. Philip. This was on the 21st of January, Arrow Day. Epic day to remember. Check this out. So, we had four song systems string up. Vectra songs, Peanut songs, Mega songs, and Fresh for Life. Let me tell you, song systems was happening, engineers was tuning, and DJs was mixing the fingers off. Trust me, it was a great, great day. Great explosion of energy, fun, camaraderie. It was everything positive that you could ever possibly think about when it came to a song system showcase. First, I want to thank Mega for hosting an event like this. This is something that was needed in Barbados for a very, very long time. Guys are investing a lot of money into song systems and it's about time that they show their craft and their work. But just remember guys, even though you may own a song system, you have to remember that the song system game is a business and not a hobby. So basically you have to market yourself, you have to sell yourself. You have to create something out of nothing. And this is how it is going to be going forward with song system culture in Barbados. So yes, on a day like this say that we string up four song system, tune them up and had DJs coming through all during the day, playing for a half an hour set. Yes, this is just part of it, but you have to put in the other part for your song system so that you could gain work. You have to create new ideas and share them with business owners, etc. Now, for that day, what I really, really enjoy was the song clash business. Guys, tune for tune clashing, stuff like that. Even though they were tuning the song system, they were just clashing, seeing who songs is better than who, who songs not better than who can stand up against the pressure. And it was a lot, a lot of fun. I want to shout out to DJ Kitty that also passed through the borders. We had a lot of DJs like Black Cat songs. We had Chadwin, who I used to hang with back in the day with Cross Circuit DJs. We had Daps Entertainment. I want to be doing a review on Daps coming up shortly. Stay tuned to that also. And um, we had loads of engineers. Can't name them all. Well, well attended event. And these guys were really glad to see that. Uh, event like this it was being hosted. I want to also thank again Fresh for Life which is also the owner of Point of View restaurant and they had a song system string up and let me tell you something the location was really nice and the surrounding area had adequate parking nobody was really cramped at any given point it was really, really nice to be in St. Philip, enjoying some fresh air and stuff like that. So, let's get down to business now, guys. Let's get down. Vetra Sounds. Vetra Sounds. I performed a set before you perform. And you came on and said, what am I going to do after a performance like that? Yes, you did it well. Because what you did, you changed up the whole vibe altogether. And you show that you understand music. I was mixing my fingers off, yes, but you came and showed that you know music. You start to play a different genre. You went back in time. You went on the oldie goldie side, the country. Fantastic move, which shows that you well knowledge in music. And that is the thing about song system. Because when you're talking about song system culture, you're not just talking about reggae, dub, dance hall. You're not just talking about those things, but we are talking about music in general. Because... At the end of the day, the song system is supposed to go and play for all types of events. So you might have a house EDM event. You might have a banquet, something that a general manager at a bank is also hosting. You might have a car park event. You might have a soccer event, a reggae event. You might have different styles back in time. So your song system have to be able to stand up to the pressure. And you show with your song system that you are willing to play a different genre of music. Take them back in time on the country um, scene 
on the Oli Gold EC. Fantastic move after I had finished perform. Great, great move. As you all guys will recognize, I choose not to videotape myself for this event. But that is all right. Next time I'll sh I, I would uh, record myself at the event. Now, let's go to Peanut Sound. Peanut! Great move. Great sounding song system. Uh, just one little thing. You just got to be careful at times when you're tuning. Not to change too many frequencies make some drastic movements in the um frequency response to the speakers because at one point in time the bass started to be over overwhelmed with frequencies it could have hand and then you draw it back which shows that you were listening and your ears were not being clouded at any given point in time great job bro mega your host of the event uh, I tell you, you're the day ready for the action. You didn't hold him back at all. You're the day ready for the action. Your sound system sounded good. You just got to do some little slight tweaking and stuff like that there, so as we all know. But everybody was somewhat still holding back. I noticed that. Everybody was holding back because everybody does not want to let their secrets out the by for the big event coming up in April. And we're going to have more pop-ups coming up in March. And... Well, from February straight down to the major event, which will be in April. We just have to finalize two things, location and the date. But we know it will be in April for sure. Any other changes, I will keep you updated. Now, fresh entertainment, as usual. Great sound system. Quality in song all the time. You're holding your own. Great job. And I must say, you're... Go, you change the subs, you bring out some new subs, they sound great, they're holding the bass different, bass is clear, not muddy, love it, keep pushing your song system the way it's supposed to be pushed. Now, let's go to the Amp Rocks with you guys, Amp Rocks was quite, quite interesting, because I even see that we have like some half peanut with a wasi amp in there, hmm, all I could have said was hmm. Love to see that the guys are really investing in their craft, investing in their equipment. Had lab groupings, uh, fresh have the CRVs and spins. Vetra had what, 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 what lab groupings and also Mega Songs had Admar amps with PowerSoft. And let me tell you something, it was wicked. Great power, great sound quality. These guys are going for it the guys are not holding back when it comes to sound quality the djs now on to the djs as i said we had loads of djs from the youngest one which was sadio he's about 17 years old great job youngster i'd like to see that you're interested in the song system game from last year at the finals of the song system showcase you were there you were only 16, you were pushing your craft and stuff like that. I also spoke to you after the event for some little things to look for in the future. When you're coming out to DJ, you like the whole song system game. I want you to keep up the good work, bro. I was once your age, and as I told you, we have um, Daps that was there at the event, and I told you that he beat me in a competition back in the day. Yes, I can admit that, but you know what? It didn't allow me to give up or anything so it gives me more energy to push to the next level and that's why i'm doing what i'm doing now so for sadio i want you to keep pushing keep your head on when it comes to song system game always remember it's about the audience it's not about you just don't focus on bigging yourself up self praise no praise let the audience give you the praise now let's move on the other djs that pass through Yes, as I said, it was a lot of dance hall, a lot of reggae. Now, as I said, it, usually when we talk about song system and song system culture, we are looking at a reggae dance hall vibe, but we got to step away from that. That was back in the day. Let's modernize things a little bit more. Let's start to bring more music to the game so that we don't stick on one genre for a whole day. could get quite boring at times, yeah. But the guys are dropping tune and stuff like that. Some things that I notice with some of the DJs, they have to understand the, even if you're playing reggae, reggae have like little sub-genres. If you're playing a shackout song, 
don't then just drop another don't just drop a song that will slow down the pace and change the dynamics and then go back to another shack out song you know so if you're playing a bashment then just don't drop into a reggae and then go back into a bashment don't make sense keep a groove keep the melody going keep it going keep the people party and keep everything hype and sometimes you just don't want to have a session whereby just everybody raising a hand but 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 that is cool that part of the entertainment is good showing that your skill set is being respected but as i said yet once again it ain't just about you the dj it is about the general audience and you have to keep everybody going throughout the whole event you can't please everyone but you try to please the mass full stop now for the other djs that came on board that uh, what i've noticed is that no one played over that um songs that another dj played or anything so because definitely if you did that your song dead your song would have been dead and i would have called you out on it straight up your song would have been dead you can't go back playing the same tune as somebody so we had even though a lot of reggae was played it was different songs you i two or three songs play over for a whole day from 12 o'clock to 7 p.m that was a lot and that is pretty good to see that djs were focused on making sure that before they step up they listen to the other acts before they play great job guys um coming up i must also say gotta pay a little bit of bills here i gotta shout out to hennessy for also sponsoring the tent and the banners so that we know where the location was who was one of our partners for this event i also want to shout out to island links he's always at these events pushing helping push song system culture who are with our crew and all of them respect to y'all guys also and as i said it was really good to see a lot of camaraderie is like everybody helping each other everybody talking to one another to tune song system helping tune this is what it's all about when it comes to song system business as much as we are competing against each other. We are building the industry together. And that's something that I want each and every one of your DJs to understand. Even though we are competing against each other, we are building the industry together. And take a look at this here. When I was in Vegas, I took one look around. I walked from Paris, Las Vegas, where I was staying into Bali's without going on the streets went through a tunnel and then I was over by Caesar Palace I did not have to go on the streets did not and it dawned upon me how come all of these hotels are connected I don't have to walk on the street or anything but when you look on the television in the hotel you recognize that they're competing against each other that's what they want you to think in front the general audience general public they would look like they're competing but behind the scenes they're working together so that they can maintain business through all of these hotels and that's what we need to do as song system owners djs song engineers etc we need to compete against each other in front of the general audience but behind the scenes we need to work together to build the industry which would also be able to put forward things to government so that we could get like subsidies or whatever we need done so that we could move forward with our business and i i would always say this song system culture is not a hobby it is not a hobby a controller like the rev 7 that costs five thousand dollars that is an investment that is not a hobby that is a business investment amplifiers that cost three four thousand dollars is not a hobby speakers where one BNC speaker will cost you like five, five close to five hundred US. Yep, four or five hundred US thereof. And then bear in mind we're in Barbados, so we gotta get it shipped down to Barbados. So you get some more taxes on top of that, and then what? You still gotta pay that and all the other things, shipping and handling fees. So then before you know it, one speaker loan that costs eight to a thousand dollars um Barbados. Or as we said, 500 US coming to Barbados by the time we get down here is almost $2,000. Barbados, which is 1000 US. You know, so this game is not a fun game where we just going to breeze and talk and have fun. It's not a hobby. 
it's not a hobby this is a business venture and that's what all the guys understand about the song system culture and that is why i have to give mega two thumbs up for the work that he's putting in into the song system culture in barbados because at the end of the day if he didn't take the initiative to say let's start something nothing would might not have happened everybody might have just gone about the day doing their regular whatever but no he's putting in some initiative into doing this project and so that the first three months of the year we get started and then throughout the year we'll see what could transpire from off of these first three months so from january straight down to february march april three four months let me just put it that way because the finals is in april and then after that you know we're just hoping that the other song systems get adequate work especially with the crop over season coming up and then later on um after the summer into the winter season hotel work we want the guys to get then you've got christmas coming around again and let me tell you something january is almost finished january is almost finished today's the 23rd i think it is yeah today's the 23rd so january is almost finished first month in 2024 is almost gone so we are not looking at treating this song system culture as a hobby it is a business a lot of these guys rely on this stuff to create food put food on the table pay the bills send school to children so it cannot be a hobby and i would like all the guys to understand that and you always hear me preach song system culture is not a hobby and that's why we need to provide the best service that we need to provide for all the organizations that want to hire us etc so whether you have a big sound system, small sound system, that's why I keep on saying keep your sound system looking clean and fresh because you would be going out there to represent the industry of the sound system culture. And turning up, looking shabby, that doesn't do anything for the industry besides make the industry look poor icky and like we don't know what we're doing. A lot of people have spent a lot of money and time, whether it's at university, traveling, you know, so that they could gain the knowledge of uh, how to set song systems and stuff like that. So all of this shouldn't be going in vain. When a business owner call upon you to do a project, you should be there as though you're doing a project for like a big multi-billion dollar company. And that's what we are looking at pushing here in Barbados for song system culture. And this uh, we want it to extend throughout the Caribbean also. But as we, Mega always saying, we are going to crawl first before we walk. We are going to crawl first before we, we walk. And we are going to make sure that all the song systems and everyone get on board so that we could charge the correct rate. And we have going rates so that when you say um, we have a wedding to do, there's a particular price that go along with that. We have a crop over band to uh do song reinforcement for there's a particular price to that we have karaoke there's a particular price to that so that we do not undercharge for these projects because at the end of the day without the song systems what people are going to do are they going to go and buy these little speakers um little radio things in or one of those other department stores to go and put in a club to play no, you're not going to do that because the audience will not come in to listen to that. And as much as people don't think that the general audience do not understand song systems or anything, so always remember a baker. Every person is not a baker, which does not mean that they do not know that bread tastes good. Do you know what good tasting bread is? The general public knows what good tasting bread is you don't have to be a baker to know what good tasting bread is you know what you like so if you're going into a nightclub and you see a band supposed to perform and they pull out two little um speakers that you use for your surround song system at home do you think people can stand up there and listen to that when the drummer drop the first kick drum down to that speakers blow and they start the song like bear fuzz think people really want to hear that in the head no they want a proper decent song system hitting them 
making sure that it can engage the audience with the band etc so we're gonna be pushing this whole song system culture here in Barbados and that's why you gotta really big up mega all the time on this he's learning from this here this is the second year going into doing the song system showcase second or third year and he's going for it full-on and I given the brother a lot of support on this project also you know all the sponsors etc respect so this is what we're doing for the whole song system culture making sure that everyone gets on board making sure that the DJs understand that this is not a hobby we are not taking no alcohol for payment or anything so this is raw business as usual promoters if you want DJs or whatever the case is understand all of these DJs have to purchase a laptop have to purchase a controller to come to your event these things cost money so you know what these guys need to be compensated for their effort and their time and they're doing something that you can't do because if you could have done what these DJs do you would have been doing it and not promoting the show you would have been out there so we all need to work together everybody need to as Mega would tell you eat a food everyone needs to eat a food so it's time now that we step up the game in the song system business here in Barbados I am not gonna allow lawless behavior or anything so to break up our song system culture no first and first all the DJs should unite on that making sure that we don't accept lawless behavior at no former event and if we start to see lawless behavior we need to stand up as a united front with and approach the government and say that we want stiff measures put in place people are supposed to be able to come out and enjoy themselves in the safety you know we don't want nobody ducking or anything so we gotta take this culture very very serious even though we enjoy what we do as I say it's a culture it's a business also and we will continue to push it as a business and not as a hobby and as you clearly can see I am making sure that I get my point over very very clear and I make no apologies about anything I'm saying so all the promoters band owners whatever you're doing once it comes to sound system always remember there's going to be a protocol doing things going forward and I would say to all DJs engineers sound system owners when you all are being hired for these events always make it your business to go to the location and do a site visit because you don't want a situation whereby the person say yeah I just need um, four four bottoms and four tops two on each side of the stage and then when you get there the place big as the garrison savannah it's a massive open space and then the owner gone and stand all the way down to the back and say man my friends back they can't hear nothing so I can't pay you for that there so no site visit remember it is business site visit first and in my case what I usually do with people when they call me I whatsapp them my email address and I tell you email me the information on my reply of that now I send you my business certificate let you see that I'm a registered business and then from there I go ahead into the breakdown of what you need and stuff like that and then also attach a date where we can meet so we can have a site visit after the site visit what I do I take my notes at the site and then respond to you again by email making sure that you agree to the terms and conditions and everything with also the invoice of what you need for your event so that is really good so that you are not under power and you know the thing is if you go to the event and they tell you keep on turn up turn up turn up eventually you will damage your equipment you're pushing something that can't handle the space and then you're going to push it too hard you know what blow the speaker and then you don't get paid for it no the other thing that I also do is make sure that money is on the bank account before and I will tell all the DJs and song engineers song owners the same thing make sure the money is on the bank account first because at the end of the day you're not running and going anywhere you're going to provide a service for these people you keep them up to date daily making sure that you could reassure them 
and they will know that you are will be there on time when you turn up at the event don't just turn up 15 minutes before it start hours before it start hours and these are some of the things they do so as to make sure that the pressure on the promoter is off so even if it's a house party a birthday party a little garden party whatever the case is you get there very early even if the day before you have to go and do a final site visit or whatever the case is you do it because the person is looking for you to be early to be punctual and make sure that everything flows on your end perfectly once your end is tight there's never a problem and that's why i always say sometimes you even have to have contracts in order you pay a vi you pay a lawyer visit you definitely do that so that you can have a contract so that both parties are locked to this deal it is very very important within this sound system game because you don't want a situation whereby you say okay you can pay me after and then when finish we've known how that has happened before even if it happened to me ah uh, trust the person and then you can't find them could hear so we're trying to eliminate all of these issues because at the end of the day we're doing what from here on it it is business it is business so you'll be going out there so making sure that you market yourself you providing a top of the line product you do your videos and stuff like that so the general public can see you on instagram etc you know but this is all business this is not a hobby as i said a controller for five thousand dollars three thousand dollars a laptop three thousand dollars amplifiers speakers another 30 40 50 60 grand come on this cannot be a hobby it cannot be and this is why i'm pushing on all these song systems to make sure that we follow particular protocol for running the song system game so that is it there for me i am dj sound expression and i want you all guys to just enjoy some of the videos some of the moments of the 21st coming up shortly and i would like to thank hennessy yet once again i want to thank point of view restaurant for supporting this project here is it is in its infancy and we're looking to build the sound system culture in barbados guys this is what it's all about your truly dj sound expression do have a great day
like we said earlier, it, it's Sunday.